Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Anish and today we will solve another interesting question on OPAMS. So if you have been following this series, so in this series we have solved many interesting questions. You can follow this series for more questions like this. So in this question we have been given a series RC circuit and a parallel RC circuit. This is in the feedback and this is the input circuit. And they have given us the OPAMP and they want us to plot the output voltage waveform VO intuitively like without going into the laplace or computations they want to plot the output voltage intuitively so at first glance it may look like a second order circuit and plotting the uh, response for a second order circuit will be a bit difficult but let's see how we can plot it okay so they have mentioned nothing about the op amp so we'll assume the op amp is ideal and there are no saturation voltages present okay so here we are applying a unit step and we have to measure the output voltage so first thought what should come into my mind is is the virtual short applicable or not? Is the virtual ground concept applicable or not? It is applicable because op amp is idle and uh, like the input resistance is infinite. Infinite. There is no, there are no saturation of voltages and there is proper negative feedback. Okay, there is no positive feedback. So obviously, virtual ground concept is applicable here. So if virtual ground concept is applicable, then I can redraw this circuit right because this ground will come to here as this is virtual ground. So I can redraw this circuit like this that I have a R and a C and there is a virtual ground okay and this is the input voltage one volt step volt now this is a simple RC circuit and if I want to draw the current response of a simple series RC it will be like a decaying exponential now why am I interested in the current response because here whatever current flows in here right the current here will be zero all of the current will flow here so all of the current will go to this parallel RC circuit so that's why I'm interested in the current response through the current response I'll be able to compute the voltage response of the feedback network so the current response this I n of T will be somewhat like this it will be a decaying exponential so at T equals to zero it will be one by r because one volt is across this rc uh, rc's combination and in initially the capacitor is uncharged so one by r current will flow and then infinity it will go to zero one by r e raised to power minus t upon tau is what rc in this case right for this particular circuit now what is happening is that uh, this whatever i will copy this circuit again this whole ion right this whole ion current is flowing through here okay just hold on a second ion is flowing through here and it is getting divided into these two parallel combinations now what will be the output voltage now so first of all let's see what will the capacitor voltage so what am i am i observing is that initially a one by r current is flowing through this uh, parallel rc network right because current to here is zero because input independence is infinite so current through here will be obviously zero okay okay so this is the rc right this is a parallel rc so now what i observe is at t equals to zero plus what is happening this i n is what one by r is one by r so one by r is current is flowing into the parallel rc combination so if i draw this parallel rc combination Okay, I'm not concerned about this VO right now because this VO is getting somewhere else, right? This VO is like getting to the op amp. I'm not con concerned about this terminal because this is going into the op amps. Okay, there is some network, so I will draw this network over here. And through here, the current, what is the amount of current coming in? The amount of current coming in is one by R. So this is at t equals to zero plus. So one by r amount of current is coming in and i know initially capacitors are uncharged as nothing is mentioned so this will go to source circuit okay and whole of the current will flow through this capacitor itself so whole of the uh, current will flow through this capacitor itself because initially this will be short circuited okay it will provide the low resistance path now is this a finite current this is a finite current right so will the capacitor voltage change instantaneously no right as it is a finite current capacitor voltage won't change its voltage instantaneously so vc0 plus will be equals to vc0 minus which is zero volts itself so it will be zero volt itself so here right at this point i had 
taken the node as output voltage vo so vo0 plus will also be 0 plus okay uh, sorry vo0 plus will also be 0 volts i will also mention one more thing that this is grounded right and this is my vc okay i am naming this as my vc now if this is vc and this is this point is vo so what is vo this point is grounded right so vo will be minus vc so i will just compute for vc and then i will uh, take the negative of vc and that will be my output voltage so this is also one more point that we needed to establish is that vo equals to minus of vc okay so i'll just compute for vc so initially obviously vc won't change it is zero volts now what is happening now what is happening if we observe the graph that i have still some positive current right still ha have some positive current so still my ic this uh, this is i will name this as ic my ic is positive okay as this input current is again positive so input current is positive obviously resistor cannot provide anything it can only absorb current so this ic is still positive capacitor current is still positive so what will happen is that slowly my vc will increase obviously this is simply like a, uh, a uh, like unit step is applied across a rc parallel combination obviously the voltage will slowly increase right if the current is unit step but the thing is how will it increase there it was unit step but here it isn't unit step here my i in input current relationship is somewhat like this right exponentially decaying it is 1 by r e to power minus t upon rc okay so this is exponentially decaying so what will happen is that my vc will increase but the rate at which vc will increase will reduce why because my ic is positive my ic is positive hence this will increase that is fine but ic is reducing right ic is reducing but ic is greater than zero hence my dvc dt will reduce but uh, vc will obviously increase w what do i mean by this i mean by this is that my rate of change of voltage capacitor of voltage will never be negative but the rate of change of voltage capacitor of voltage is equals to ic and ic is reducing so the rate of change of voltage will also reduce and if this reduces so rate at which my voltage was increasing capacitor of voltage was increasing will reduce the rate at which my capacitor of voltage was increasing will reduce okay uh, like you can observe from this circuit as well right from here as well because initial current was what through the capacitor 1 by r after that can it ever get 1 by r of current can the capacitor ever flow 1 by r of current not possible because the source itself the source itself is reducing its current right so after 1 by r it let's say it is somewhat like 1 by 2 r right here here we are 1 by 2 r so source itself is pro providing only 1 by 2 r of current so how can capacitor flow 1 by r of current like resistor can never provide current so uh, only this source will be able to provide current to this capacitor and ic has reduced ic can never reach 1 by r if ic can never reach 1 by r so rate at which the uh, capacitor was charging is reducing so vc will increase but the rate will reduce so how will the waveform look like so uh, i will just draw this roughly initially i am drawing this for vc right this is time this is vc of t so what is happening initially obviously capacitor voltage was zero and will remain like that and slowly it will increase okay slowly it will increase but what will happen is what will happen is it will increase something like this why it will increase something like this because the slope of the capacitor voltage should reduce right slope of the capacitor voltage should reduce so if if i just draw the slope of this it is reducing and what will happen after this point it will reach some maxima point and the after that the uh, slope will go to negative why is that the case why is that the case because here after a certain point right my ic is going to zero my ic is going to zero so this is let's say at t equals to 4 tau right or 4 rc i can uh, or um, yeah 4 tau 4 rc okay now at 4 rc this current is going to zero so if at 4 rc if i draw the circuit right at 4 rc if i draw the circuit what will happen draw the same circuit the capacitor was charging its voltage right so it, it will be at some voltage level let's say it, it is at some voltage level vp okay and what is happening is that here the current through here is zero amperes now because the source current has gone to zero amperes roughly zero amperes right at four to four rc this is at t equals to four rc this is at t equals zero plus so at four rc capacitor has charged to some voltage vp and this has zero current so this capacitor will discharge through this 
register this capacitor will discharge through this register so if this capacitor will discharge through this register obviously whatever current is going in has to flow out here so it won't go here it will just flow through this loop so this capacitor will discharge okay now capacitor will discharge So if capacitor discharges, what will happen? The voltage will reduce. Current will flow in the opposite direction. But I'm not care. I'm not uh, like uh, thought that much interested in the current. I'm mainly interested in the voltage. So voltage will reduce as capacitor is discharging, right? So VC, VC will reduce. Okay, VC will reduce, and it will go to what? It will go to zero volts. Okay, steady state VC will go to. VC infinity will be zero volts. Okay, at steady state it, this will be zero volts. So this is how my graph will look. This is this will be again vc will reduce until go to zero volts uh, if i can draw this correctly okay so this time is what this time is 4rc almost roughly this is 4rc right 4rc 5rc like that and here you can observe the slope is negative why is the slope negative because the direction of current has changed now previously current was flowing in this direction now the current is flowing in this direction outside of the positive terminal so that's why the ic is going negative hence the slope is also negative for this graph okay and this potential is vp so the uh, like waveform of capacitor is something like this but what will be the waveform from the output voltage the output voltage waveform will just be the opposite of this just be the negative of this so the output voltage waveform of something like this okay uh no it will be something okay yeah it will be somewhat like this this will be 4rc okay and this will be minus vp now your homework is to find out minus vp how will you find out obviously for that you have to derive to laplace like you will see that your input current expression is somewhat i have already told you your output voltage expression will be somewhat like this that it will be some constant a into t e raised to power minus t upon rc okay into u of t so this will be your expression for the output voltage if you derive to laplace and from there you find out a and from there you find out the point at which minima like the output voltage goes to its minimum value then only it will go to zero okay so yeah that is the solution for this uh, question that's how you solve this intuitively okay so sometimes it may seem daunting that how will will you plot this intuitively but once you go into the problem right it may become easier so if you want more questions like this please do subscribe to my channel and like the video if this video helped and yeah i will see you in the next question thank you for watching